everybody, Frank Marco here. I'm the director of the Masters of Organizational Leadership Program and also professor of leadership studies here at the King's University. Okay, so the first question is what resources would I recommend you use? Well, there's several ones that I always recommend to all my students. First one is something called Zotero, Z-O-T-E-R-O. It is an online web-based bibliography tracking program. Every time you read a book, every time you read a journal article, every time you come across a website, you can log it into Zotero, you can tag it, and then later on you can refer to it. You can find it very easily, put it in your papers, put it in your capstones, your major papers, and when you graduate from TKU, you'll have a permanent record of everything you've read, all your resources, you'll be able to find things easily. Especially if you plan on going on to graduate school, doctoral programs, you're gonna to wanna to start using something like this to help you keep track of things. Z-O-T-E-R-O. I'm not a paid endorsee of this program, but I recommend it to all my students. Something else I'd like to recommend to all my students is something you probably may be already familiar with. It's called Google Scholar. Google Scholar. Can't find it? Google it. <laughs> it's a joke. Anyhow, Google Scholar. It allows you to find resources quick, vastly, and not only that, a lot of times you can actually find copies of the articles that you're looking for. And one of the cool things about Google Scholar is when you find something, it'll show you who cited that article and it'll show you related articles. So it leads to this amazing uh, nesting bunny trail way, uh, means of researching things. And you might spend hours and hours, I mean, if you're like me, you're gonna spend hours and hours going down interesting little academic bunny trails, learning things you never knew about. So. Google Scholar is a great resource as well. Okay, the next question is, how do I wish students communicate with you? That's more of a statement for me. Oh, how I wish students would communicate with me. Yes, I'm a real person. I have feelings. I have two ears. I like to listen to my students. I love to engage with my students. In fact, a student just sent me an email right now. It brought a tear to my eye because it was so nice to hear from him. So. Uh, use the usual means, you know, you can use the email, you can use the phone. I don't even mind if students text me, to be quite honest. Don't text me late at night. Don't text me with your problems, you know. Go see a counselor for that. Go see Cassie Reed or Linda Hoover, Julie Cole if you got your problems. Anything about your classes, anything you need information from me, advice about anything, you know, professionally, I'm your guy. And let me give you another tip here too. Some of you are just kind of getting into college. You know, look at your look at your professors as colleagues and peers. There's no, we're not your mom and dad. We want to be people that bring you up, that help you learn as a leader and as a pastor and as a as a human being, right? So you gotta you gotta become comfortable with conversing people like us big older professors. We're really nice people, you know. And if you open up lines of communication after class, through emails, phone calls, hey, you'll get to know we're real people too and uh, you'll find us to be very helpful and mostly friendly. The next question is how students can communicate with their online professors. Well, pretty much everything I just told you. Online professors have the same kind of communications. They got phones and emails and text messaging as well. So uh, talk to your professor about that, what their preferred mean is. Uh, I would just say this if I wanted to add something. Uh, be intentional about engaging with your online professors. And sometimes it can seem like they're distant, they're, they're distant, they don't care. You know, they're out there kind of doing their own thing. I have no idea who this person is. You know, pshaw. You know, just reach out, be, be a mensch, step up and say, hey professor, I need to talk to you. I know I'm an online student here. And never use that phrase, I'm just an online student. You're not just an online student. You're an equal student here at TKU, just like everybody else. So reach out to your professors, pick up the phone, text, carrier pigeon, whatever you wanna do, but I just encourage you do reach out to your online professors. And then the last question is, what's one book that I'd recommend to all my students? Well, that's a tough one for me, because as you can tell, I got lots of books. But one that I would recommend at the moment is this one. Pastor Jack, written by our own David Moore. Excellent book. If you're a student here at TKU, you gotta get to know who Pastor Jack Hayford is. Amazing man of God, amazing story, a lot of great lessons from his life to learn. And I think you'll have a greater appreciation for us as an institution, our founding, uh, some of the ethos that we still have here as a spirit-led, spirit-filled institution. So pick up Pastor Jack and be blessed. Well, that's all I got, you guys. I hope this was helpful. I'm over in the 140 building, Frank Marco here. Call, email, text. 
God bless you. One, two, here we go.